Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA, and I'm here with Helen, the Crimson Cadavers. Hi. Um, and we are here for our Celestial Weekly Chat. Um, and it is for the week of 1010. 1010 Portal. Yeah. Damn. Okay, 1010 10 to 1016. Um, and we're starting out on Monday, which is the portal. Yep. 1010 Portal. Um, and we are still basking in the full moon. Yes. That happened on Sunday. Still got the moon in Aries. Yes. So we still that, got that, you know, full moon hangover kind of energy going on. I love it. I love full moons. Yes. Um, and so the big news of that day is... Mercury entering mm -hmm. Libra. Right, so Mercury will enter Libra as well on Monday. Yes, and this is a very, very chatty placement. Yeah. Because Libra is already a very social sign. Right. Um, wants to, you know, seek out relationships, you know, interacting yes. with people. Mercury is all about communication. So it's like talk, 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 talk. And you and I were talking huh, before we turned on the camera, and we were both kind of in the agreement that this week from 1010 to 1016 is sort of like the heart of Libra season. Yes. Right? So I really feel like this week coming out of this full moon is really getting in touch with how can we stay in balance. Yes. And so I really think like balanced up. mind energy from Mercury entering Libra. Yeah. Yeah. And so and, and like, we're also and we're also revisiting all of the energy from the retrograde with Mercury because Mercury retrograde through uh, went through the last uh, degrees of Virgo mm -hmm. and is now going back through that and then is entering Libra where it was before in retrograde. So at it, the beginning of the retrograde actually. So it is important to really see what it is that maybe um, you got some new introspection on, or you yeah. figured a new way to talk about something, right? So now you can stay in better balance. Yes. So uh, it's like we're kind of rebalancing based on what we learned and what came up during that time period. Yeah. So it's like we're kind of revisiting the energy, but going forward now. I like it. I like it. Not in reflection mode. We're like, all right, but now how do we take this forward? And how do we keep ourselves balanced? Yes. I can't say that enough. Yeah. We should turn this into a drinking, right yeah. drinking game. How many times can we say balance? Take a shot. Take a shot. Mm -hmm. So, then we move on Tuesday. The moon will move into Taurus. Yep. And um, it will be conjunct the North Node yep. because the North Node is in Taurus. Yep. Or Taurus is in the North Node, however you want to say it. Yes. Um, and how much more time do we have? Does Taurus, like another year? I think, yeah, next year sometime moves into, um, would be Aries actually at that point. Yeah. And so, Taurus. Um, so conjunct the North Node again, that's close. Yep. That's really close. So that's a really good communication yep. um, as well. Grounding into our destiny. Yeah, you know, that North Node, whatever sign it's in, the North Node is what the, we're reaching towards that highest aspect. Um, so the highest aspect, you know, of Taurus, basically. Um, Mars then will move into Gemini. Or, yes. Is that Mars correct? Is in, yeah, Mars is in Gemini. Already? Yep. Sorry, I'm not very grounded right That's now. Okay. I'm just, like, trying to do this <laughs> and drinking all this coffee isn't helping, friends. Uh, um, no, Mars is already in Gemini, okay. but it's going to square up with Neptune in Pisces, mm -hmm. which is a configuration that we're actually going to see for the next couple of months mm -hmm. because Mars will be stationing retrograde at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. So moving very slow right now. So, And, of course, Neptune is always moving slow. So we're going to stay in that square for like um, within a two to three degrees for the next couple of months. Right, so it's kind of important for you guys to like mark this on, this, on your calendars about that because Mars is um, was known as the god of war, right? Yes. Mars is that masculine and Mars went through that deep transformation in 2020. Mm -hmm. So Mars is now a divine masculine energy. So it would be more of a spiritual warrior. Mm -hmm. He is still gonna fight and he's still going to move us forward. That masculine energy is what puts us, is what moves us. It's, yeah, what, it's our power, our drive, our right. motivation. And so Mars and Gemini, um, cause he's been there, but he's turning um, retrograde, right? And so Gemini is another air sign. Yes. We're in Libra season, which is an air sign. Yeah. Right. And then Gemini, though, is mutable. Right. Gemini is the twins. Um, and so Mars and Gemini for the next two months. Squaring. Neptune. Right. And Pisces. And Neptune is dreamy. Right. It's uh, not the most tangible energy. No. And Pisces is also a mutable sign. Right. Right. So can... I think it's an energy you want to make sure you get on top of. Okay. Because it can get a little distracting between, you know, Gemini gets a little distracted, so our power gets distracted. Um, and Neptune and Pisces is like off dreaming. 
which we need to dream. We and do. And this is kind of how we found some of our um, higher level things that we wouldn't find, you know, if we're just always staying, you know, on task, so to speak. Right. But we want to make sure, you know, we don't wander off for like three hours looking at, you know, some blade of grass. And then we're like, oh, we just missed all our appointments today. <laughs> <laughs> Mars and Gemini, square Neptune and Pisces, you know. Right. And that's a lot of um, conversation, you guys. Yeah. Um, and you know, Mars and Gemini 2 being retrograde and squaring that Neptune and Pisces to me, you know, Mar, um, Gemini was in the South Node before um, the South Node moved into Scorpio. Yes. And so Gemini used to represent duality. Yes. And so after Gemini went through that duality, um, or went through the South Node, excuse me, it, it, it doesn't represent duality anymore. And so the fact that Mars is sitting in there <laughs> for two months. Yeah. Um, it's still that masculine energy. It's still moving things, right, to a, to a higher way of being. And so that Mars in Gemini is telling me that he is going to be working into moving us into that unity consciousness. Because like you said, Neptune is about dreaming. Right. Right. And so we have to bring, we have to sit there and get to that unity conscious. We have to dream yeah. these new ideas, like you were saying. Um, and then we've got to figure out how to bring them into reality. Yep. And you can't do that overnight. No. We got can't. a lot of shit that we are uh, getting out of. Right. Right. And I think that's why we have Mars, you know, stationing retrograde, you know, to give us that time to like really reconsider all those kinds of yeah. things. Um, that again, we want to move, you know, full steam up ahead yes. or, you know, that's how Mars is. But Mars and retrograde kind of slows things down. Yeah. And I think we need to dream a little bit. I yeah. think we need to like go to the higher self a little bit. And that's that energy is going to kind of force us to do that. I agree. And that mutableness is going to allow us to kind of loosen our loosen ourselves up and yes. jump a little higher. And find those things in the nooks and crannies that we wouldn't if we're just like, we have our blinders on and we're just going from like appointment to appointment. Yeah, life. I agree. I agree hundred yeah. percent. So just to know you guys, we've got two months to figure this out, yes. which means we'll be talking about it for the next two months. Yes. <laughs> Mark your calendars. Yes. Okay. Then Wednesday, we're only on Wednesday. Yes. Okay. The moon is still in Taurus. Yes. Um, and it will be, and then where it is in uh, Taurus, it will be conjunct Uranus. Yes. Uranus is still retrograde in Taurus. Yeah. Uranus is the planet of rebellion. Awakening. Awakening. Yeah. Higher, I wonder, I was like consciousness the, sought through upheaval. Yeah. I was like the friendly rebellion. Yes. Um, and so when it's conjunct Uranus, right, um, we're asking it, are we still working on, because Uranus is uh, retrograde, are we still working on? getting to where we want to be are we yes. still are we still on that mission yeah are we changing what needs to be changed are yeah. we going with the changes are we letting them happen are we clinging to things or clinging yes we don't want to cling we don't Uranus want to cling. does not want us clinging stage five clinging. let things go okay. yeah not yeah. stage five no clinging right and so the good thing too it's still uranus right yeah. so it's going to yeah blow it up things happen quickly right so embrace yes thursday the moon will move into gemini yeah which is great. Um, so then we can, you know, it's going to help us tap into that, that, you know, Mars, Gemini moon is um, intuition. Yes. You know, it is going to start reaching into that unity consciousness. Yep. So. And then the moon forms a conjunction with Mars the next day on Friday. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so it's like feeling, yes. feeling powerful. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's really what that energy is. It feeling is, our power and like what our power means and it's just like duh it's just like slapping me in the face right now but that moon in gemini right and then conjuncting mars that's the divine feminine and the divine masculine together yeah. right so let's um and again gemini attention. the the two right you know is uh, it are we duality or are we yin and yang yeah and i think yes. we want to be yin and yang totally so. yeah i mean in just every way that we look i mean we don't have enough time to do that but yeah mm -hmm. yeah every we're, we're like moving into that so Friday to me is a good day yeah um, Venus is gonna be trining Saturn so it's like I think like our values and the way that I we structure ourselves it's actually gonna flow a lot better than maybe it has in the past mm -hmm. and so that trine again means they're all in that sign or you know the, the three of them are in a sign yes. right and so that sign is Aquarius but I mean it's an air signs it's yes. an air signs um, I'm gonna get through this so <laughs> You're being so kind. You're being so patient. Um, so yeah, and Venus in there, that is our self-worth. That is um, love. That is, um, you know, good, feminine. good communication too. Um, Aquarius is, um, 
you know, fixed Aquarius is the future, Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, mm -hmm. who's just churning away in Taurus. So what foundations are we building for the future based on our values? Right. And the thing is too, you guys, you have to remember with this sun in Libra, Got all of this heard behind us. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hey friend. Um, with the sun in Libra, it's bringing this all together and how we can balance this. Okay, I know like sometimes we get real excited and we're like talking about all these things and it, it might seem a little overwhelming, but if you guys just remember, it's all about bringing this into balance. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Okay, so we move into Saturday. The moon is um, moving out of Gemini and we'll move into Cancer. Mm -hmm. um, Forming a square with Jupiter, Okay. which you know, anytime Jupiter's involved, it's just a very enthusiastic, jovial energy. So you love that Jupiter energy. I, I really do I mean, because I, mean, I think, especially with Jupiter and Aries, it's just like, woo, yeah. let's go. You know, it's like a firecracker fun. kind of energy. Yeah. And you know, to have that squaring the moon, it's like just kind of feeling almost like excited about life. Yeah. Like that's definitely a very exciting energy. Yeah, and so too because that moon was in Gemini, right, which is that unity conscious, and it's moving into Cancer, and that Cancer is ruled by the moon. Yeah. Right, but Cancer is also the home so yep. we're starting to see like how we are reshaping our homes yep. um, and Jupiter and Aries Aries is the initiator and yep. it's like let's do this okay yep. Sunday moon and cancer mm -hmm. um, squares Mercury and Libra yeah forming a sex out the north node and Uranus and Taurus so what's that energy say to you um, to me I mean with, with the everything. moon the moon and cancer you know squaring uh, Mercury we're definitely talking about our feelings mm -hmm. um, <laughs> lots of talking this um, is why I just pass it on to you yes okay. talking about our feelings and how we feel about how we're moving forward. Mm -hmm, that makes I sense. think that's really important with that North Node Uranus energy in mm -hmm. there. Um, and again, with the sextile, it's like we're feeling good about it. Yeah. We're feeling good about where we're moving, but it's like, I think we're coming to terms with a lot of what that even means moving forward. Right. Um, and again, with Uranus being involved, maybe it means something different than what we thought. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say that you're, that's that you're, yeah, it's I like, think there's a different than what we thought, but like, we're, Again, all this is like us feeling good about that. Right, we're us okay like with it. Just saying it out loud, like, "Hey, maybe this isn't what I thought, but this is where it needs to go." In in two, going back to that, and it's also saying to me, like, signaling to me, like, we can be okay with letting things go that really fucking sucked at one time in our lives. Yeah, traumas. You know, it's okay to say, I don't need to carry that with me any further. Yeah. And I mean, talking about like deep traumas, not just like, oh, but I mean, like, it's okay. That Uranus and Taurus is saying, you can let it go. You yeah. can let it go. It doesn't define you any longer. Um, and, you know, as we speak, we have Pluto about to station retrograde. Mm -hmm. um, Again? And I think, or to uh, station direct. I was going to say, thank what you, the thank hell? Thank you, thank you. Um, station direct, <laughs> okay, excuse yeah. me. Yes. Um, we're still sitting in Mercury shadow period, yes, yes. so, you know, obviously, isn't perfect. I'm like in <laughs> outer space right now. Um, but with Pluto stationing direct, a lot of that, like, deep stuff, shadow stuff that we've been contemplating has been churning, churning, churning. Mm -hmm. We're about to kind of bring it in the light and go, all right, got to do something with this. Yeah. And it, even if bring it into light just means you're transmuting it yeah. and just moving on. You yeah, can do I'm that. going, all right. I see what it is. Yeah. I'm good. Been there, done that. Time I don't I don't need the t shirt. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Almost yeah, I don't need the t shirt. It's no. like it's it not who you are anymore. anymore. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is a good week for you know, for me, for you. All for all of, of us. us. Yes, for all of us. Um, it really is like I said, the coming into balance. It's the heart of um, Libra season, the 1010 yeah. portal, you guys. You know, when it, whenever it's a portal, I always say it's just make intentions to like be in balance, whatever it is yeah, going on. Yeah, it's a balancing energy, definitely. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to leave it at there because I can't, you know, keep it together and space out any longer at the same time. You know, that's uh, Mars and Gemini square, Neptune you. and Pisces. Thank you. We're already in that energy. So. Thank you, Helen. Yeah. Thank you. It's where we're at. Mm. Of course, if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to me and um, Helen either on our Instagrams, mm -hmm. right? And also on our YouTube. Yep. Yep. So Helen also has a YouTube channel. It is um, the Crimson Cadaverous, if you guys want to follow her on there. We're trying to get 100 followers. So then we can do lives. Yes. We yeah. like to do that. So tell all your friends. Yeah. Yeah. Tell Subscribe all. and all that stuff. Okay, you guys. Have a great week. Um, it looks like it's going to be a great week. And it feels yeah. like it's going to be a great week. I think so. All right. See you soon. Bye.